If you like pan fried snapper, then you gotta love this recipe. I got this recipe from Dan O Seasoning, and Dan O Seasoning is a sugar-free and low-sodium seasoning. And since it's low sodium, it's more forgiving. It's harder to overdo it. And since it has no sugar, it sounded like it was indeed the perfect rub for pan frying my snapper. Fresh snapper fillets at the supermarket nearest me are a dollar and ninety-seven cents an ounce. And that's thirty-one dollars and forty-eight cents a pound. And today I have some snapper fillets that were donated to me for this video by Christy and Rodney Young. Lay the fillets out, then dry them off with paper towels. Determine which was the skin side. And on the skin side, I'll score it about every half inch or so with a large knife. Now give the filet a liberal coating with the Dano's original seasoning. The scored side's gonna be the presentation side. Heat up a large skillet over medium to low heat and then drop in several pats of unsalted butter. Unsalted butter gives you an edge when pan frying because it has a much higher burn point than the salted butter. Gently lay out the snapper fillets in the pan with the seasoned side down and then gently press them down in the skillet. After they fry for just a little while, then you can season the exposed side with the Danos. Now, depending on how thick your fillets are and how hot your burner is, then cook for five to eight minutes or so and then gently flip them over. Cook several more minutes and then you can add a little bit more butter on top of the fish when you take them out of the skillet. You can see that this recipe is quick and easy and yes, it tastes great. And yes, I was impressed with the Danos and I think you will be too. I also recommend the Snapper. Enjoy. Check me out at Paul Daddy's Blind Hole Barbecue at YouTube. Now all you gotta do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hole Barbecue. <laughs>